a counting process, a counting process, uh, which is defined by a sequence of random variables n of t indexed by time t, discrete values of time t, uh, is an integer valued random process such that it starts at 0, at time 0, and it keeps increasing by 1 such that it is non-decreasing with time. Uh, tau larger or equal to t. If t, tau is larger than t, n of tau is larger or equal to t. So uh, let's draw a realization. Mm, for example, um, of a counting process n of t as a function of t. At 0, it starts at 0. Uh, at some time s1, it increases to 1. At some other time s2, it increases to 2, for example. At some other time, arbitrary, some random time s3, which we call the arrival time of the third arrival, it increases to 3. And it goes like this. So here, the SIs are called inter uh, uh, SIs are called arrival times. So these are arrival times. And the intervals between them are called inter-arrival times, x1, x2, x3, and so on and so forth. So as you see, the counting process counts the number of arrivals. The number of arrivals increases by 1 each time there's an arrival. But it's a very simple process. Okay, so uh, according to our definition of arrival times and inter-arrival times, the nth arrival time, Sn, can be expressed as the sum of the first and inter-arrival times. Right. And the process can be uh, equivalently characterized by the sequence of Sn's uh, or the sequence of xi's. So alternative, alternative uh, descriptions of um, a counting process n of t uh, is, are, um, the sequence of xi, uh, where, of course, the xi's are inter arrival times, hence they're not negative uh, for all i, um, or the sequence of Sn, right, where, of course, the Sn are uh, a non-decreasing positive sequence, okay, or, uh, or n of t itself, okay? So a re given realization of uh, a counting process can be described by this n of t or the xi's or the uh, sn, okay? So therefore, it is um, perhaps interesting to explore some relationships between these, these things. Uh, for example, the event that sn is less than or equal to t. Uh, this means that the nth arrival has occurred by time t, at or before time t. This implies that the total number of arrivals by time t is at least n. 
right? So we can say that the total number of variables at time t is greater or equal to n. On the other hand, if the total number of arrivals by time t, uh, so suppose this is t, if the total number of arrivals by time t is greater or equal to n, this means that the nth arrival has happened at or before time t. So the right-hand side also implies the left-hand side, which shows that these two things are equivalent. Okay? Now, how about um, the event Sn bigger than or equal to t? This means that the nth arrival did not happen before time t. The nth arrival did not happen before time t means it may have happened at or above, uh, at time t or after time t. So the number of arrivals at time t must be less than or equal to n. But if the number of arrivals at time t is less than or equal to n, uh, the nth arrival may or may not ha uh, hap uh, it may have happened or it may not have happened by time t. Uh, if the number of arrivals is less than n, the nth arrival has not happened yet at time t, uh, which means the which means s n is above t. Or if the number of arrivals at time t is n, s n is less uh, than t. Okay, so this means that the right hand side does not imply the left hand side. So this is a notion that uh, one has to be careful when uh, formulating problems relating to uh, counting processes. So let's, let's uh, see this, in fact, let's see a picture for this example. This is time t, okay, and s n plus 1, the n pl uh, arrival time of the n plus 1th arrival is here, and the nth arrival occurs here. Um, at time t, n of t equals n, um, but s n is less than t. So the right-hand side does not imply the left-hand side. Okay, um, how about Sn being less than t? Sn being less than t, this means that uh, the nth arrival definitely happened before time t. So, n of t is clearly uh, at least as large as n. Okay, so Again, this does not imply, uh, the, the right-hand side does not imply uh, the left-hand side because, um, because why? Because uh, we could have the situation where uh, Sn is exactly t, okay? Because uh, this is the union of uh, Sn less than t and Sn equals t. Because if the nth arrival happens exactly at t, n of t is equal to n, but Sn is not less than t. Okay, so this implication is not true. Finally, here's my question to you. Does Sn being bigger than t imply and is implied by the event that n of t is less than n. There's a quick answer to this which makes the observation that this statement is actually equivalent to this statement, 
because the, the event on the left hand side is the complement of the event on the left hand side here and the event on the right hand side is the complement of this. But let's see what, all, what it means. This is the event that the nth arrival happens after time t. If the arrival happens after time t, clearly the total number of arrivals by time t is less than n. We will be using these things uh, as we model different counting processes and compute probabilities regarding uh, them.